No time for cake and shit. First order of business. Accompany my drone, Rover. You get to uh, weld it. Uh, the tall one at the back with the clock face. It goes faster when it's welded, dude. And when we're here with it. Do look after him. Is he cute? Kind of. He's kind of cute. This is only normal mode, by the way, so if we lose, we've got we got some some big problems for sure. We got some major problems if uh, if death is in our future. To be honest with you, Just toss a grenade right there. Might get a kill or two. Oh heck yeah, dude! Didn't get a kill, but you know, hey, what what can you ask for? You know what I mean? Where are you headed? Where you going, buddy? Where you going? So weird doing this right after having done the objective Hell on Earth on uh, Biotics Lab, which was like the hardest KF2 match I've ever played. By far. And then being here with just like normal mode escort the drone and it's just like nothing, dude. It's just nothing. All right. Anyway, I made uh, I made too much made too much pasta the other day. I made too much pasta the other day. I've been eating pasta almost every day for like five days, <laughs> which is I made extra pasta because I was like, yeah, I can just leave it in the fridge and you know over the next week or so, whenever I want some pasta, I can just pull it out and, and make uh, some pasta alio olio or whatever, and butter noodles and carbonara, or whatever you know, some kind of simple tomato sauce or this or that or whatever you know pasta pasta dishes are simple you know and alfredo or something whatever dude it's like pasta dishes are simple and cheap right um so i was like you know i'll just uh well it's the machines okay so i was like you know whatever i'll just um i'll just uh what should we call it you know make a bunch so i don't have to make it every time i uh i want to uh have pasta in the and then I'll just leave it in the fridge and it'll be good to go. No, I made way too much pasta though. Like far too much pasta. So I've still got, I've had, like I said, I've had it for almost every day for the past like five days. Almost. Not not quite every day, but like almost every day for the past five days. And uh, I still have like two days worth. Uh, of uh, of pasta sitting in the, the the container that I put it in, I'm just like, you know, at a certain point, okay, so we can just farm some money on these guys if we wanted to. Do we want to? I mean, almost, so I can get some deagles or glocks or something. We're gonna get 300 from the objective, so as long as we get to like 350, we'll be fine. But I think we're gonna get there anyway. So, um. Yeah, so I've got like two days left, and I'm like, dude, I just don't want to eat pasta anymore. I don't. I got some fettuccine sitting in there, and I just, uh, I don't want it, dude. Speaking of fettuccine, when I was making it, I had, uh, I, I, I bought fettuccine noodles. Okay, so when I was at the store, I bought fettuccine noodles because I normally have spaghetti noodles, right? Because the t the stuff I make, like whether you have spaghetti, fettuccine, I, like personally, I don't care. They're, they're, they're roughly the same, just a different texture, and sometimes I feel like something different. You know, people are like, oh, well, you can't have, uh, you know, spaghetti and meatballs without spaghetti. And, like, you're right, because it wouldn't be spaghetti and meatballs without the spaghetti, but you can have fettuccine and meatballs. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, so, uh, to me, I just, you know, when I went at the store, I just, I just buy whatever pasta I feel like for the... Uh, you know, time being, and I'll just, I'll just make whatever whatever I want with that pasta. You know, what, what I, I might be having some, you know, spaghetti Alfredo. I don't care. I don't care, dude. It's all good. It's not an it's not an important uh, thing to be honest with you. I don't think it's an important thing anyway. I think it's terribly unimportant. But uh, regardless, when I was making it, I bought fettuccine noodles. Okay, so when I was when I was at the store, I made the conscious decision to buy fettuccine noodles, right? I saw the spaghetti noodles, and I was going to go buy them, and I'm like, you know what? I could go for some, some thicker noodles this week, maybe. 
I mean, it does kind of affect the uh, the noodles that I end up buying, right? Because or the the pasta dishes that I end up making. Because if I have fettuccine, or linguine, or or something, I'll typically tend to make things that like having a, a saucier thing, like Alfredo, for instance. Um, if I have a a thinner uh, pasta, I'll I'll make something with uh, with a, a a bit of a thicker sauce that kind of sticks on it and, and gets stuck on it and stuff, and you don't have to have that uh, you know like that's that's basically what it boils down to, right? With spaghetti, you like those meat sauces where you kind of like pull up the not necessarily meat sauces, but the, the thicker sauces, right? With um with uh. Sauces that kind of stick to it a little bit easier, and then with the the fatter th pastas, you might have uh, sauces that that don't stick quite as easily, you know. That's okay, you know. But uh, I just I don't I don't think it, it's not necessary to have a, a pasta and a sauce that go well together. It does make it better, but it does uh, it does kind of affect my decisions. So this week I've had. Um, Literally exactly the same kind of pasta you every week, which again is like, you know, pasta alio alio or whatever. And, um... Anyway, so I, I bought fettuccine noodles. I made the conscious decision to buy fettuccine noodles. And... When I was making the fettuccine noodles, for some reason I thought it was spaghetti noodles. And... I was adamant that I had bought spaghetti noodles. I picked up my, my spaghetti noodle box, which was a fettuccine noodle box, because I, that's what I bought. But in my brain, it was definitely spaghetti, you know? And, um... I had, uh... I had, uh, gone to cook them, right? So I opened up the box to get it ready, to pull out a bunch of noodles, to, to put into the boiling water. And... After I had done so, I, 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 I noticed this one little noodle that was kind of standing out above it, right? So sometimes when you buy noodles in a box, like long noodles, sometimes uh, one of the noodles will be a little bit longer, and it'll kind of stick out over the, um, over the others, and then kind of like fold down. So you have like this weird folded over noodle, and at this point in time, I thought that what I had were spaghetti noodles. I was adamant that these uh, this box of fettuccine noodles was spaghetti noodles. That's what it was in my brain, right? And uh, so I ended up I ended up looking for uh, I ended up uh, pulling out this this folded over fettuccine noodle, and I was like, "Yo, there's a fettuccine noodle in my spaghetti box." And I was like, I was like taking pictures of it, and I was like, "Dude." I got like a, a fettuccine noodle in my spaghetti box. You know what happens sometimes? There's there's things that happen, right? But I was like, hey, let's go. And it was a folded over piece. Like this is this is this is uh, this is incredible, you know. And then uh, came time to to start to dump the noodles into the the pot of boiling water. And I was like pulling out a bunch of noodles. I'm like, dude, they're all fettuccine noodles. Like. Somehow my, my box of, of spaghetti noodles turned into a box of fettuccine noodles. Like, what the heck is happening? And then I then it, it dawned on me that what I had was actually, all along, fettuccine noodles to begin with. And it was never a box of spaghetti noodles. And I was like, huh. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm about as dumb as it gets. What do you do? You do anything cool? Most of these kill like Zeds and stuff, or like freeze them or something like that. This one just activates the uh, the big old thing, hey? Just pulls up this guy. That's okay. I guess. It's normal mode, dude. Even on hard mode, it's gonna be about this simple. But uh, suicidal, hell on earth. A little bit more complicated. Steam Fortress. I think that this one should be doable. Not quite as hard as Biotic Slab so far, anyway. Um, you know, obviously it's normal, so, so like, you know, but, um, even, even take into account that the Zed's be moving faster and stronger and all that. I think that, uh, Steam Fortress just gives you more space to move around in. Unlike, uh, Biotic Slab, which really just does not. Um, like, even right here, like, you have a lot of, of area to, to kind of maneuver your butt in as you're killing stuff. And it's, like, it's a good spot to camp anyway, you know what I mean? Unlike in, uh... In Biotics Lab, where you're 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 camping in like just a terrible location with narrow corridors, no real 
point of, uh, of exit there. there. There's exclusively death waiting for you. And, um... Yeah. This one, this one's a little bit more lenient. So this one, suicidal, should be doable for sure. Uh, Hell on Earth should be also doable, but we'll probably die once or twice. That's my guess. Anyway. I had too much pasta is really what it boils down to. And I was dumb, so... You know, even even extra just dumbness. Um, I like pasta, though. I like pasta a lot. You know, you you put uh, one of the one of my favorite things to make is butter noodles. I've talked about butter noodles before. I love butter noodles, dude. They're like just so easy, especially when you already have pasta sitting in the fridge. Like if I'm ever like I have five minutes and I'm kind of hungry, what am I gonna make for like dinner, dude? Butter noodles. <laughs> it takes like literally just like three minutes. You heat up some butter in a pan, you toss the noodles in, you get the noodles hot, you put some pepper and some uh, some Parmesan cheese on it, and like it tastes perfectly fine. You want it took like zero time, and it's like totally good. Go. Love it. Um, yeah, not not super healthy, so you can't really have it all the time. But pasta in general is kind of. Not super great for it. It's because carbs, dude. That's kind of why I'm uh, bothered that I made so much pasta. I just... Like, this is more pasta than I was intending to eat, to be honest with you. But, like, it's there in the fridge now, so, like, gotta eat it. <laughs> uh, lesson learned, I suppose. Make less pasta. Or, you know, figure out some other way to store it that, like, lasts longer. But I don't know how long pasta lasts after I cook it in the fridge. You know, I don't know if I'm... Uh, good to leave it there for like a week or two or if I'm good to leave it there for a week or if I'm good to leave it there for like uh, a month or you know how, lo how long can I leave pasta in, in the fridge in a sealed container I do not know so rather than uh, you know worrying about it I'm just gonna eat the dang pasta I don't eat much pasta when I do eat pasta which is why it's lasting so long cuz like I didn't make like I didn't make the whole box. I made like maybe half of a of a of a large box of pasta. I mean, large box of pasta over here. I don't know what a large box of pasta is wherever you live, but for me anyway, it was the the largest box of pasta I could find that wasn't like you know a huge box of pasta. You know, the second biggest size. So we got like the uh, it looks like a, a rectangle, and then you got the it looks like you know almost like a car. You know. And, uh, definitely got the, the rectangle one. Anyway, I didn't even make the whole thing. I just, I don't eat that much pasta when I eat it. Because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want that many carbs. Sounds like a bad idea. So, I had to, I had to let it sit there for like a week, dude. It's going to take me, it's going to take me over a week to get through all this pasta that I made. And it's just like, oh my god. I don't make, uh, I don't make the pasta stuff ahead of time, right? Like, I don't, uh, you know, some people make, like, you know, Alfredo or whatever ahead of time. I don't do that. Because to me, once you have the pasta cooked, the rest of it doesn't take that long. Right? Like, as long as you have stuff prepared, right? Like, you don't have to prepare the whole sauce, but just make sure that you have, uh, if you're making an Alfredo, just make sure you have cheese and, and, you know, milk or cream or whatever available to you. Toss it into a pan, get it all nice and beautified and stuff. You, I want you to, to rush down towards me, okay? No? Okay. Um, anyway. I just, I don't, uh, I don't personally care so much for, uh... Where are you going? Where are you going? For, uh, preparing the whole thing ahead of time. I don't like, I don't like leftovers to begin with. I know I was super excited to get into leftovers with my new fridge. And I am. When something that I make just doesn't... It's not reasonable to make something. Like some things you, you don't want to make one serving of, you know what I mean? Like a cake. If I'm, if I'm ever going to make a cake, for instance, I'm not going to make a serving of cake. I'm going to make, like, a cake. And then, uh, it'll be, you know, sitting in the fridge for a while as I, uh, as I slowly eat it over a week or two or whatever, right? I'm not going to make just one slice of cake, because, no. That's, that's far more work than it's worth, in my opinion. Um... Anyway. Old school. I wish you got enraged, dude. Any hoozle. 
Any hoozle. We're getting lots of money at this point, dude. Look at all that. Look at all that. Don't need it, because like the Glock is more than enough, but whatever, dude. Whatever, man. That's my that's my pasta rant. What kind of pasta is your favorite pasta? Well, okay, you know what they're, they're, I got I got two favorite kinds of pasta. Okay, I got um I got my favorite kind of pasta to eat. Okay, my favorite kind of pasta to eat is a uh, is uh, like a seafood fettuccine kind of thing. You know, seafood. Uh, it's like it's like almost like seafood chowder, but instead of having soup, you have pasta. It's weird, um, but a uh, a local restaurant carries it, and it's very good. It's not like Alfredo, okay? It's not it's not Alfredo. It's like it's like a, a, a seafoody white sauce, which which might be just Alfredo that the seafood was like cooked in, perhaps I don't know, but um, it's very very good. Not very good to make though, you know, like that that's an expensive meal. I don't really like making expensive meals generally. I like making cheap, as as cheap as I can do, typically. I mean, I splurge on some things, but I like making them as cheap as I can. So uh, it's not the kind of meal that I'd like to make. So much. It's not. Uh, it's not my favorite kind of pasta. My favorite kind of pasta to make is probably like I like making butter noodles, but that's just because they're super easy. I think that my favorite kind of pasta to make is probably like a a carbonara or something like that. If I had to, if I had to guess, yeah, because it's not. Uh, it's not like very difficult, but it is. Uh, it is kind of like. Not classy, but like almost classy, you know. I get to I get to feel good as I make it. Unlike with like you know butter noodles or maybe like pasta aglio e olio, uh, you know you don't really get to make it. Uh, I don't know. Is it, is it aglio e olio or is it uh, aglio e olio? I don't know. Um. Anyway, you don't you don't get to. It's not. Uh, it's visually appealing. You know. A bit of uh, some sliced Parmesan or Reggiano on top of it. It's pretty good stuff. Um, anyway, that's that's kind of my favorite kind of pasta. Favorite kind of soup? I was talking about soup recently. Um, I don't actually eat that much soup. I love soup. Soup is uh, is is one of my favorite ways to to have a meal. Personally, um, if I could have like if I could only have one type of food for the rest of my life. Probably be soup, honestly. Like, if there's only one food that I could have, like I had to pick like a soup or a sandwich or or you know a thing, like a sushi roll or something like that. Like I don't know what I'd pick. Um, but I'd, I'd probably pick soup if I had to have like uh, one type of food. Like I could have sushi of any variety, pizza of any variety, sandwiches of any variety, you know, soups of any variety. You could have bread of any variety or whatever, you know. Um, Probably my 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 go would be uh, would be soup. I think I do. I honestly do, because I love soup. I think that it is the I think it's the, it's the single best way to to have a meal. You know, you get to have that that wonderfully delectable like broth. Which if you have like a good broth, like oh, don't even don't even don't even talk about it, dude. It's just it's like it's heaven on earth, dude. A nice, a nice broth, like with, uh, with a, with a, because you got like some broths, they taste good, some broths they taste good and they feel good. You know what I mean? And uh, getting that broth to feel good as well requires that uh, you know you you make the the, the the broth really really well. You get uh, as much of that uh, coagulation kind of stuff going on. You know, like a good broth is basically going to coagulate when you put it in the fridge. Okay, when you when you put a broth in the fridge, it, it really shouldn't be too solid, or it really shouldn't be too liquidy. It should almost be solid, you know. Um, not not quite solid, like you don't want to like overdo it, but like you get you get that stuff going on there, and it's not uh, it's it's it makes that for that really good textural experience on it as well, um, which is is very pleasing. Um, do I have to like repair this or something. I don't know. This is kind of boring, eh? I mean, it's normal, what'd you expect, right? Anyway, um... 
you, know, you get a good broth and it just it's a really nice textural thing. Tastes just so good. Like broth is probably one of the tastiest things in the world, right? In my opinion, because it is it is just flavor incarnate, you know. Three shots. Oh my god! Not even fully upgraded. It's like the tastiest thing in the world, dude. It's like so delicious. And uh, you can add whatever kind of stuff you want. You can add you can have ramen. Okay, you can have you can have some ramen. Some nice, delightful, you know, chewy noodles in a, in a nice, beautiful, rich broth with some uh, with like a bit of soy sauce, some chili oil, bit of. Uh, you know, some, some sliced pork belly, roasted uh, barbecue pork belly, you know. With uh, maybe, maybe a, a soft boiled egg, some green onions, spring onions, whatever you want to call them. I don't care, dude. Chives, whatever, dude. You get a little bit of uh, green in there. And uh, like, you're off to the races. That is a, a delightful, delightful meal. Okay. You're, uh, you know, it's, it's really, oh, it's really, it's, it's really hot. It's really cold outside, you know, you're, it's freezing out there. You want to stay warm? Dude, you got, like, a, a nice, hot, you know, split pea soup or something with, uh, with some ham in it. Mmm. Delightful. Delightful. Okay, oh, it's, like, it's so, uh, it's so hot outside. You know what you can do? Cold soup. Yeah, cold soup. It's pretty good, dude. Pretty good. One sec. I actually hold up. There is a. What is it called? You can have like udon, that is cold, but I forget. Uh... There's also a specific like um... sunomono almost. Like sunomono is that it? Is that it? You may be able to hear the uh, raging winds outside. No, that's just salad. Sunomono is a salad, but it's a soup. Okay. I don't know if you guys have ever had Sunomono, but it's, uh, I think it's sweet potato noodles in like a, a cold broth and uh, tastes like really really good it's very sweet generally in my experience um, but it's, it's very nice to have very refreshing it's nice uh, it's a nice salad to have it's uh, it, it's it, I don't know I don't know uh, what the the right way to, to eat it is I don't really like the broth in it so much so I don't know if it's uh, so it's, 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 it's called a salad. If you go to like a Japanese restaurant, it'll be called a salad. It'll come to you and you'll be like, this is a soup. Because <laughs> it is noodles in a liquid with uh, with bits of, of other stuff in it as well. Okay, you'll, you'll look at it and you'll be like, this is a soup. I don't know if you're supposed to drink the broth or not. I don't because I don't really like it. But um, it's too much for me, dude. I don't, I don't get it that often anyway because uh, in my opinion, it's just too sweet. Um, when I go out to uh, to a Japanese restaurant or something like that, it's just it's too sweet in my opinion. I thought that was a, a stalker, dude. It's too sweet for me. I don't like I don't like sweet things so much. Uh, at least not in my food. I love. I got I got a sweet tooth. Let me tell you. But um, when I'm having like dinner or something like that, and I got uh, you know this 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 sweetness that's coming up in my in my food, like pineapple on pizza, pineapple in. Um, like people put pineapple in fried rice all the time, or sweet and sour pork rather, not fried rice, you, you big dummy, but in sweet and sour pork people put uh, pineapple in it and it'll be, you know, that'll be the sweet for the sweet and sour, right? Because uh, the pineapple, like, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat around the bush here, pineapple is an excellent addition to sweet and sour pork because it has that little bit of a bite to it as it is acidic, like highly acidic. Or is it a base? I don't know. Anyway, it, 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 as you eat it, pineapple also eats you, right? So you get that that bit of a sting. It kind of uh, also promotes that kind of like sourness to uh, to the sweet and sour pork that you're kind of going for. And it's like it's a really good pairing because it uh, it just it works really really well. So I, I recognize why people put sweet and, or uh, pineapple and sweet and sour pork. What I don't get 
is uh, I, I don't like it personally. You know, I, I'd rather I'd rather just use uh, tomato sauce or something even <laughs> like like a nice sweet tomato sauce would be better in my opinion. But uh, pineapple just just for me is is I don't like the the super sweet bits in it. I like I don't mind when it, there's a sweetness to it. You know, like if. Uh, like pineapple on pizza isn't that bad, but um, if it like uh, let's see what am I? It's a good example. I'm trying to think of a good example here. Right, so like uh, every now and then I'll make some uh, like when I'm having pork chops or whatever. I'll uh, on occasion make it. Uh, I'll, I'll put some brown sugar onto the uh, the pork chop and, and bake it and and kind of get like a nice caramelizing action on it. Make like this weird kind of sticky glaze thing with it. Add a bit of chicken broth and some mirin or whatever and like that. It like, turns out uh, reasonably pretty well, right? And it's it's sweet, but it's not overbearingly sweet and it's not super super sweet. So in my opinion, it's manageable and it's nice. I like it a lot. Um, but. Uh, when, when, when I bite into something and like part of it is not sweet and then part of it is sweet, it just, I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. And that's not really what Tsunamono salad is because it's just sweets, but I don't know. To me, I just don't like, I don't like the, the sweetness so much, so I don't order it too much. But um, again, hot day, some something like Tsunamono, some cold udon. Um, I don't know any other kinds of cold soup type things though. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of Sunmono anyway, but. Uh, yeah, you can have uh, all kinds of cold soups though, right? You don't have to have soup that's hot, so on a hot day you have some cold soup and you're, 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 doing, uh, you're doing pretty good there, right? Um, let's say you got a. Say you're, 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 you're on like. Uh, a heavy workout regime, right? You gotta, you gotta get lots of lots of carbs to, to keep up all of that. Um, to keep up all of the uh, the workout that you're doing, all that energy that you're consuming as you're trying to uh, trying to work it out, right? And um, well, you you can add like. A bajillion like little star noodles or something to your uh, to your soup. Now you have like a bajillion carbs in your soup. It's almost like a stew, but not a stew. It's still soup technically. So you can add like a bajillion stars or little circle things, like little small pastas, like a bajillion of them. And uh, it fills up most of the the liquid in it, but it kind of keeps it feeling kind of liquidy still, you know. Now you got your your bajillion carbs. So you can go be. Uh, you know, um, I don't know, Usain Bolt <laughs> and the Olympics or something, eating all your carbs to, to, to get your, your stuff going on, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, soup, soup's kind of my favorite medium for food. I think that it's just very versatile. I mean, I don't think anybody's really going to argue against that. I think that uh, soup is definitely unquestionably the most versatile food there is. I just think that a lot of people don't like the experience of eating soup, so they wouldn't necessarily choose it. But I don't think that there's anybody who would say that pizza is more versatile than soup. Because I think that, that that's kind of dumb. And I don't think that... Uh, I don't know, maybe you think that, that pizza is more versatile than soup. I think you might be... I think you might think that pizza is better than soup. And you know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say anything about that, okay? Pizza... It's pretty good. I like pizza. Don't get me wrong. You know, don't get me wrong. I like pizza. It's uh, it's an enjoyable experience, but I just like soup more, dude. So if you put a pizza and like a chicken noodle soup next to each other, I will take the chicken noodle soup like nine times out of ten. Okay? Because to me, it's just like better, you know. We we we, we have these uh, this is like cultural stuff that kind of pushes for pizza as being the uh, the superior food to, to soup, which is kind of like oh well you're sick hey you're you eat soup when you're sick you have chicken noodle soup when you're sick or whatever right and uh, I don't I don't I don't agree with that. 
I think that uh, that soup is better than pizza, in in every possible way except for you don't have a bowl and a spoon and you want to be like holding your food. You know, like you you can you can pick up a piece of pizza. You can't pick up a piece of soup. You know, you have to you have to put it in a bowl and they have to clean up the bowl and you know it's, it's got it's got its benefits on that front. But on a, on a flavor perspective, on a utility perspective, I think that soup is better. And I think that um. And most people would agree that uh, soup is more um, useful as as a medium than uh, than pizza. I don't think that's a controversial opinion. I don't. I really don't. I I just really like soup. Is really the the moral of the story here. What else do I really like? That's really it. I eat a lot of soup. Mostly ramen. Typically when I eat soup, it's ramen these days. I don't really eat much other soups. I just I don't buy it, but I probably should. Like, you can go buy, like, instant ramen, right? And it's, like, really, really good. I just... I've, uh, I try to, now and then, pick up some, like, instant soups. You know, like, instant, like, chicken noodle soup or instant um, beef barley or Italian wedding or something, you know? For some reason, they just they aren't as good, you know. Like instant ramen isn't as good as 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 like proper ramen. If you go to like a a proper Japanese store and get like genuine ramen, you know, instant ramen doesn't even like compare. Right, like it's not even like close to being as good, right? Um, I wish you wouldn't do that when like I have to teleport there. Like, just dude. Um, anyway, so, uh, you know, when, when I have instant ramen, it's not as good as proper ramen, you know, not at all. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you about it, okay? It's just, it's not as good. However, however, however. Instant ramen is more close, is is closer, more closely resembles actual ramen than like instant soup resembles actual soup, you know? So I can go buy like instant ramen and feel pretty good about it and be like, yeah, you know what, ultimately like this is actually like a, a fairly decent experience all around, right? Like it's not perfect, there's, there's room to, to improve it to be sure, but um... Okay, we'll just kind of approach you then. Uh, there's room to improve it for sure, but like ultimately, I, th I think that uh, instant ramen, fairly, fairly good thing. When I get instant soup, I'm just like, it tastes okay, but like, I, I guess what I'm saying is instant ramen. When I when I fix up some instant ramen and I, I add some some soy sauce and some chili oil and some some green onions and and uh, mushrooms dumplings perhaps you know when I add some some extra stuff to uh, to instant ramen it's like six percent of the way to actual ramen right like it's actually pretty good you know that that extra bit of percentage is like a huge improvement over uh, over the instant ramen and it's, it's a nice big jump but like it's still like instant ramen add a little bit of stuff to it it's like actually pretty good right you take like a instant soup. Yeah, you add your stuff to it. It's like maybe like a, a four or five compared to like some homemade soup, some proper soup. You go to a restaurant, and you get like a nice bowl of soup or whatever. Like the difference is just so much bigger for for soup versus versus for ramen, which which is probably largely because they've done a better job making the ramen good. In, uh, in the instant ramen packets, but um, the the, uh, the the instant soup stuff, it just it's not as it's not as good. It's not as good, so I never end up doing it. I want to find something that's good, but anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Stop, please. Let me out. Let me out. Ah.